Because <laughs> Chris Pratt, you like getting naked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I liked... I, I've, I've spent a good amount of time naked, yeah. 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 <laughs> like, even when you were a kid... Didn't you... I was always getting naked. I was always getting in trouble for getting naked. <laughs> They're like, you can't just pull your dick out. I was like, why? It's <laughs> <laughs> well, that is funny. <laughs> but it has got you in trouble in your in your sitcom. Yes, yeah. This yeah. is Parks and Recreation, the sitcom. I wonder if this is okay to tell. I guess it is. I, you know, basically there was a scene like in, in this in the second season of the show. I played this guy who is is dim witted and guileless, but a, a, a real idiot and and uh, and but lovable. And and he lives out in a pit outside of this uh, house. <laughs> he lives in a hole in a tent, and he's like kind of a homeless guy. And and. Uh, <laughs> and he, he, but he, he got kicked out of the, his girlfriend's house. Anyways, long story short, she has invited him to come back to the house for some reason, but I think it's to hook up. So I come back naked. And of course, they give you these briefs that are like, uh, like little underwear, but that are, are skin colored because they'll pixelate it out. But um, now I open, I, I knock on the door, and Amy Poehler's character opens the door and says, Andy, and, I, and I'm naked, and that's the bit. Well, it was like late in the day, and Amy, was going, Andy, but it, to me, it didn't seem like she really was reacting to seeing my dick. <laughs> and so I was like, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drop my trowel as an improv. <laughs> I'll show open the door and then that will be the take that they'll use, right? By the way, it is the take that they use. <laughs> and, uh, she opens the door and she goes, Andy, whoa! <laughs> And uh, I ran it by the boom mic operator. I was like, dude, should I get naked? He was like, <laughs> drop trial. And then I got a letter from NBC saying basically, never, ever do that again. <laughs> you kid, there is a protocol to being naked. You must give everyone the option to not see it. Yes, there's not that many people in the room, but there's a camera, and behind the camera's a ton of people watching, you know? <laughs> so I got naked, and then, and then they sent me the letter, and I framed it. I got it right next to, I got it in my office. I love it. And it's, <laughs> it, said, it said, first of all, this is not a joke. <laughs> You're being reprimanded. This is, this is the last warning. It can't happen again. And also, we don't want you going around and talking about this letter like it was something, some kind of joke. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, you worked in restaurants, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you worked in Hawaii, but then you worked in L.A. as well? Yes, I worked in, in, uh, at a restaurant in Beverly Hills. It's I, a posh. It was. It tried to be. It was a... Uh, it, look, it was a terrible restaurant, and, <laughs> and it was. It was just awful. And I was a, a, a major contributing factor to how <laughs> terrible this restaurant was. Um, it, it was... It, had, it was just real garbage. It's been revamped now, but... I loved it. Tell it was us the name. <laughs> <laughs> They'll give you free meals. <laughs> oh, they I mean, they will give me free. That's how I ate. I mean, when you're uh, when you're in Hollywood and in, in other places, like you need a job that gives you fr your days free, so you can try to audition for projects. So I'd work the weekends and I'd work the nights, and that would that's the only I had no money, and I, no one was coming to the restaurant, so I wasn't making any tip. I'd make like twenty or thirty bucks a day, maybe, and so I, it was really a place I'd go to nourishment. To eat, yeah. yeah. That kitchen fed me for like the, the time that I was there. I used to, oh man, do you ever do this where you, I would, like a lady would come in and she'd be like, what do you recommend? And I'm like, 32 ounce porterhouse. <laughs> <laughs> and so I would always tell them, I said, listen, here's how you want it medium rare with some mushrooms on the side, uh, and get you some mashed potatoes. You're gonna love this, ma'am. <laughs> She's like, you know, 90 year old woman. And so I bring the steak out to this lady. She, I'm, 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 I'm hiding in the corner watching, like, is she, t like, how much is she eating? How much do I get, you know? <laughs> and I go back and she was like, I can't eat another bite. I was like, yes. <laughs> Maybe 80 percent of the steak is left. And we have this thing called the tunnel, which is an area between the dining room and the kitchen where they keep all the soft drinks and, like, the silverware and stuff. And that's, I've been busted so many times eating off of people's plates that they were like, you have to stop doing that. Like, it's really, really bad. And I, so uh, anything I ate, I had to eat in the tunnel. <laughs> because it was, always, it was my safe zone to where... <laughs> safe zone. For judgment. For judgment. The, the customers aren't going to see me eat their food, and the chef's not going to yell at me for eating the food. So it was like, I had about 14 maybe ounces of steak that I had to get down in about 10 feet. <laughs> Straight up, like, Swallow. Komodo dragon. <laughs> <laughs> and I wolf the steak down, you know? And I get it, I'm like, ha-ha, cha-cha-cha. That's like three days worth of protein right there. <laughs> and I walk back out, and the lady was like, listen, I'd love to get that steak to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, oh gosh, ma'am. Uh, let me go check. I'll go check. And I was like, oh, fuck, what do I do? What do I do? And I said, I'm so, I'm so sorry. I already threw it in the trash. I threw it in the trash. And she said, it's for my dog. It's fine. Just fish it. If you don't mind, just fish it out. Put it in a box. It's my dog. I was like, you bet, you bet. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Will do. And I walked in like, Freddy! I need a porterhouse on the fly, man. Don't ask any questions. Just give me one right now. And so he, he started cooking a steak. And I was like, that was a bull of shit. I went out to her. I was like, ma'am, I'm going to get you that steak. They just took the garbage out to the dumpster. I'm going to roll up my sleeves. I'm going to jump in that dumpster. I'm going to get it for you. Because I'm, I, what kind of dog? Pomeranian, no way. I love that. It's so sweet. And so I walked out. I'm like, Freddie, where's that steak? And uh, she ended up being so, like, happy that I would be willing to dig through the garbage for her dog that she gave me a giant tip. And she left early because she couldn't wait for the steak to be done. So I got another steak. And like, <laughs> This is a weird thing. So, Chris Pratt, is this, this seems so unlikely that you have now learned how to do the voices from TOWIE. Yeah, sort of, yeah. Well, I... How we is love, that possible? We love that garbage TV back in, <laughs> in the States. My wife was crazy about it. And when I was here filming Guardians... We shot Guardians of the Galaxy here in, yeah. in, in uh, London, and, and my wife, Anna, came out to visit. And she fell in love with this show, Towie, The Only Way is Essex. It's this show that's like basically their Jersey Shore. It's the Jersey Shore from, <laughs> right. from yeah, exactly. here. It's like this uh, town somewhere, Essex, I guess. And, <laughs> and, uh, and these folks are just like the <laughs> worst. <laughs> and, uh, and it was like, I'm a parrot a little bit. And so when I, hear, when I hear it all the time, I just started picking it up and started like I could pick up their accent and do their accent a little bit. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm okay. This is gonna sound, this is really embarrassing to do in front of a, a whole room full of Brits here, but I'll try it anyways. So it's like, <clears throat> so like, honestly, I like, I saw this guy. <laughs> Yeah, I honestly did like, did like Michael cheat on me when he was in a beef art and I was like <laughs> because he was telling me he's like, you know, like I miss you or whatever and I'm like, <laughs> you like miss me? What am, what am I your mother? <laughs> <laughs> That's the only accent I can do. Okay, I need um a volunteer. Should yeah, I? Me. Oh, all right. I got Will I Am. This is awesome. I'm doing a card trick for Will I Am. I'm, I love my life. Uh, okay. Shit. Um, okay. So here's what we're gonna do. This is called Burnham, and it works 50% of the time. <laughs> so I'm gonna make three piles. Should I? Should I? Should I? Okay. Now, Will I Am. May I call you Will I Am? Yeah. Yeah. Is that? Okay. Hell yeah. Um, take this card and pick it up and put it on. Actually, no. Put it on either side of these. Piles you want face up. This card right here. Oh, take, take it. That card. Take and that card and put it face up on either side. Oh, yeah. I get to choose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now take that card and put it put it there face up. Hell yeah. Now, <laughs> this is your card, but do not let me see it. But show uh, everybody. Okay. That's your card, but don't let me see it. Okay. I'll cover my eyes and don't say anything. Oh, good card. And when you and when you're finished, committing it to memory. Put it back in the middle pile, anywhere, anywhere uh, inside. Oh, just throw the, it, throw put it, it anywhere you want in the middle pile. Hide it, it and make it so that I could never know where you put it. Okay. You got yeah. it. Yeah. Boom on that. Shazam! 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 Ah, okay. <laughs> now, ooh, two fours. I call this trick two fours. <laughs> I take one four on the bottom, uh -huh. one four on top. Now, what do I know? I know that your card. You remember your card? Don't tell me. What's that? It's somewhere inside this little deck, but I don't know where it is. So I'm gonna put that in the middle. What? And put that right there. Now I want you to shuffle that four times. Aw, shit. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, like I told you, this only works half the time. So if it doesn't work, I'm gonna be really embarrassed. Okay. <laughs> One shuffle. Mm hmm. Two shuffles. Three shuffles. <laughs> In the middle shuffle. Oh, you might have screwed it up for me, but that's okay. Let's try. Now. What all great magicians say. Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Okay, now, I'm gonna look. Because I'm gonna find your card. Don't, don't, don't look at my process. Wait a second, wait, 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 wait. 
How many chances do you get to find the car, though? Because we can sit there for hours. I, I guess four. Oh, you get four chances? Yep. That seems fair. 30 minutes each. Yeah. This yeah, 50 each chance cards. is a different this segment cards. of the Graham Norton show. Yeah. No, <laughs> okay, let's see here. No, no, that's not it. Oh, it's coming. It's gonna be here. Okay, hold on. I think I got it. Nope. <laughs> okay, hold on. I get four chances. Wait a second, will you count? Four chances to, to shuffle through them or four chances to show me your he just No, he's just looking, he's looking for your card. I'm looking for your card. Okay, I got it. Come on, you know, come on. <laughs> Don't you me on this. I'm sweating. The first chance. Dear Lord God, please. Your car. <laughs> Hell no. No? Okay. <laughs> no, 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 I get four chances. Yeah, boom on now, that. Okay. It's called Burnham. I take one, I burn it. I might have burned your card. <laughs> Will I am your card? Hell no. Oh, okay, hold on. Uh, is this your card? Hell no. Just tell me your card now, because this could be it. What is your card? You can tell me now, because I wouldn't be able to take it out. Tell, right, tell me. It's an A. An A of hearts. A of hearts. <laughs> sure? Uh, yeah. The ace of hearts. <laughs> <laughs> no. Done. It rhymed though. It's Your a, card eight, eight, eight. is in this pile. I shazam. No. Hell no. <laughs> Will I shazam? Oh, no, no. no. Will I shazam? That's good. I think it was. Your card. Parts. It was in parts, wasn't it? Wait, Will I am? I'm not done. Give me a fist bump. Wait a second. Magic fist bump. Keep it right there. Don't move it. Squeeze. 